Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an all about my ear piercings video. Basically, I'm just gonna be going through my ear piercings and talking a little bit about them because I do have um, not a, like a whole bunch, but I have like a variety of different ones in different locations of the ear that a lot of you are interested in and want to know a little bit more about. And then after I finish talking about each of my piercings, I'll go through and show you an up close view and I'll tell you all of my all time favorite ones that I have in my ears today because I have quite a few. I love my ear piercings so much. All together, six, seven, eight, nine. Altogether, I have 13 total ear piercings, and I love every single one of them, and each and every single one of these ear piercings has definitely been on a journey, let me tell you. So, we're just going to kind of jump right into this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. So, let's begin. Okay, so to start, I do have a total of six low piercings. I have three on this ear and three on this ear. Um, the first two on each ear, I don't have any jewelry in. I hardly ever wear jewelry in my first and second lobes. I don't know why that is. I just, I rarely ever do. Um, it's just a thing. I don't know. I'm very weird. Um, I just never tend to wear jewelry in them. Unless, you know, I'm, I know I'm going to have a significant of time off work. That is when I will um, put jewelry in them. But other than that, I just mostly leave them empty for the most part. And then in my third lobes, I always wear these little diamond studs that I got from my mom. Um, those are the ones that I always keep in my third lobes. Every single one of them was unfortunately done with a piercing gun at Claire's, which is a huge no-no. Never, ever, ever get anything pierced with a gun. There are just so many risks and dangers and just so much unsanitary situations that go on when a piercing gun is used. If a tattoo, or I'm sorry, if a piercing parlor is using a piercing gun as part of their technique, get the fuck out of there and don't ever go back because they obviously have no damn idea what they're doing. I was a baby when I got my first lobes done and then I was a young teen when I got my second and third lobes done. So I didn't really know or understand the risks of piercing guns. I just thought it was something normal. I thought that's how everyone got their ears pierced. The things that I got after I got my low piercings were my cartilage piercings. I have a top one up here and then I have a middle one here and these ones they were done, this one actually I've had like done four times before. The first three times were done with a gun and they never healed. Surprise, surprise. And then I got it done with a needle a couple years ago and I've had it ever since. So I just keep kind of just like a little ring-a-ding in there. And then this one down here was done with a needle as well and I've also had this one for a couple years. Um, if you guys want to know more in depth about pain wise and healing wise, I did just upload, well not like just upload but recently uploaded a my piercings and their pain scales video which I will have linked up in this little corner where this little white eye is. I did just upload that and in the beginning of the video I talk all about my ear piercings and the pain of their of my ear piercings so if you want to check that out and know more about them then you can go and click on that video but as far as like my helix piercings these were some of my most difficult ones to heal when I got them pierced just because my ears aren't really the biggest fans of ear piercings you know what I mean so it was just kind of a kind of a rough healing process but they did both eventually heal the next ear piercing that I got was my tragus and I actually used to have my tragus done on my right ear but it unfortunately rejected so I had it redone again on the other side and it's very interesting with my ears because my left tragus is actually a little bit bigger than my right like I don't know it's very weird like my right tragus barely exists whereas my left one is a lot bigger and more room for a piercing you know what I mean so yeah that is the next one that I decided to get done uh, this one was pretty standard like it didn't it didn't hurt too bad and the healing was pretty easy the next piercing that I got was my forward helix this one down here this lower one I do have two forward helixes this one I got done at a later time so the first one I got done was this one right here I've had that for a couple years and again it is a helix piercing so it was a little bit more on the painful side just a lot of pressure and then healing was just kind of a pain in the ass and then the next piercing I got I jumped back over to my right ear and I got my date pierced 
which is this heart-shaped jewelry that you're seeing there. I really do like that piercing. It's very, very cute. It's very flattering. Me, my mom, and my sister all have the exact same piercing because we all got this piercing together as like a mother-daughter piercing, so which I think is super cool. Uh, but this one hurt really, really bad to get done. Like it was extremely painful. I hated getting this one pierced. But then when it was like healing, it was fine. Like I didn't have any issues with it healing, which was great. Like I was able to sleep on it right away and all that good stuff. So that was fine. But then I went and got my second forward helix about a year later. So this is my newest one out of the two, and it was basically kind of like the same rodeo, you know, a little bit sore for like a helix piercing, but nothing, nothing too bad. And then of course I got my rook pierce, which is just this inner part of my cartilage right inside the ear there that you're seeing. That is my most recent piercing, and that was out of all of my um, ear piercings, that was my most painful one to heal, like as far as like healing process goes. That one definitely sucked the worst. I absolutely hated that one. It was just very like every like this whole side of my face hurt when I got that piercing. I hated every second of it. So here's an up close view of my left ear. So we just have my first lobes here, which are not stretched. For some reason, my ear kind of like folds like that. So it looks like my ears are stretched, but they're not. So we just have my first lobe, my second, my thirds. We have my tragus my first forward helix, second forward helix, and then my rook piercing, which is my newest one and definitely my favorite. On this ear, my two favorite piercings are my tragus and my rook. Sorry, my ear is turning red because I keep touching it. A lot of you are probably wondering why I don't have balls on these two um, horseshoes in my forward helix. The reason for that is because I have to wear piercing retainers for my job. So since I have to take these out so frequently, I don't ever bother with having the balls on there. And moving on to my right ear, we just have my first, second, and third lobes here. We have my upper helix piercing, my middle helix piercing, and my dath piercing on the inside of my ear here. My favorites on this ear are my upper helix and my dath for sure. Okay, so that was just kind of a little bit of a rundown about all of my ear piercings that I currently have. I'm sorry this video seemed kind of rushed, but a lot of you just wanted to see just a video on my ear piercings. But like I said, if you want to know more in depth about how bad they hurt or anything like that, please go and check out my piercings and their pain ratings. For those of you who wanted to see this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments and let me know what ear piercings you have and which one was your favorite. I would love to know. If you guys did enjoy this, give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!